What's going on everybody? Kenny Bomb is in the building and everything was going perfect. A little too perfect. Right out the gate, they told us this game would be rated M, which means we get more realistic cuts, more realistic bruises, bumps, maybe some broken limbs, we don't know yet. The submission system looks great. It reminds me of UFC Undisputed. We got a new engine, we got better looking character models, online career mode, offline career mode, you name it, everything was sounding good. And now they just slipped on a banana peel. This probably should have been kept under wraps until this game comes out. Because this is terrible news. And we got to talk about it. Run, run, boy. They coming now. So the first time we saw this screen, I actually missed this because I got so caught up in the menus. But if you look behind me, you'll see right here where it says need more coins watch an ad to earn coins that does not sound good now don't get me wrong i love virtual currency in games because it kind of gives you something to grind and work towards if you're unlocking different things from the store whether it be for your created fighters or actual fighters in game but when they give you an option to watch an ad to get those coins do you know what that means that means those coins are going to be harder to get because they want to push you into either buying those coins from the store or watching ads to earn those coins. Now, I said this before. I haven't been able to enjoy a UFC game in a long time. I love the Undisputed games. UFC 1, 2, and 3, they were fine, but UFC 4 just was not for me. And this, if they make this grindy and like a microtransaction thing, this could kill this game for me because the thing I like to do most in these UFC games is go through the career mode. So I'm excited to actually go through the career mode now by myself and try it out online. But if I gotta get these coins, and these coins are very grindy, or they push me to buy or watch ask to get these coins i'm out i'm completely out now it all depends on what these coins are used for if it's only for things like ring entrances or taunts while you're in the ring that's fine whatever you really don't need that stuff but if i needed to buy better transitions or better punches better kicks better hooks jabs whatever for my created fighter and they make these coins hard to get that's just really going to kill the game for me man it's scary because we've seen this kind of stuff before in a lot of different games. I'm looking at you, NBA 2K. But I mean, unfortunately, this is a common practice now. I see everybody in the Reddit mad about this, but this is just something we're unfortunately going to have to get used to. You pay $70 for the game, and then they come up in there, and then they reel and pull more money out of your pockets with these microtransactions. It should be illegal, but it's not we got to deal with it let me know what y'all think about microtransactions in games in the comment section would y'all rather just buy the coins to power up your fighter up front so you don't have to spend the time doing it or do y'all think this is a nasty practice and they should make those coins easier to obtain but thank y'all for tuning into this video we will be following this story and everything else from ufc 5 so make sure you guys don't forget to smash that subscribe button if you don't want to miss an update bomb squad let's get to that I'm a bang with the news, gotta thank for the views When I game with your dudes, I ain't game here to lose Do my thing for the tubes, summer content full of bomb It's got a lot of different things you can choose Coming with the truth, no cap over this side We gotta talk about it, lock in and let's ride KennyBomb.com, that's a big vibe Like this, leave a comment and subscribe